So yeah, there's almost nothing left from this. So, new ship. Oh wait, how much do I need for the certification? So basically one more run is enough. To clear that. So that's a double. Yeah, that's a cheap one. Let's try doing this one. This one has less weight. And we don't really need that much anymore. So it does look like it's kind of the same thing again. Let's fire that off. And of course I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, it is. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Airlock pressure levels increasing. And let's see, where is the atmospheric regulator? Your pressure level decreasing. Oh, there's a data type. Falling asleep on the job salvager? That's a great way to lose a limb and or life. Due to binding legal agreements made with the Orbital Safe Workers Union, Lynx cannot encourage the use of illegal narcotics. However, research has shown that when used in moderation, recreational stimulants and microdoses of hallucinogenics can provide salvagers with significant gains in both performance and yield. Furthermore, the Lynx Board of Directors recently voted unanimously to eliminate any and all drug tests for salvage division employees, because we at Lynx believe the privacy of our employees is paramount. Lynx. Making the world a better place. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. So, oh, there's a packet. A packet. Also, is there a oxygen bottle here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's get this one down there. There goes the reactor. And cut the floor out. That one, that one, and that one. And that should be the entire side of that. Uh, that part of the ship. Won't move. And processor. That's not loose. I thought I cut most of these loose. Uh, did I just forget an entire site? Apparently. And that's the cockpit. Yeah, that's better. Actually, cutting all the connections is probably better. Uh, let's see... Oh wait, that goes... Oh, 
Wait, it's only the top side that goes into the barge? Let me just get that. Oh! Uh, how do I cut this correctly? Looks like you need to separate this. Never noticed that. Yep. You can actually test that from the frame. So let's go. Throw that into processing. That's separated as well. And now the fun part, we need to go into the wall. I feel like I forgot the entire side of the ship to be uh, detached. That's how that feels. in. Billy! Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. That goes to the barge. Well, that works. Is there anything... Oh, that's just a nasal. Yeah, let's cut into this side. Profitable levels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're on this side. So, it's this one. And go straight through those. Let's get some oxygen before we go further. Uh, on the side. Line that up a bit, and there we go. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. So we should be able to cut that nasal off. And then on the other side, just cut the entire side off. I don't need... Need to remember that I still have the uh, thruster and stuff. Uh, let's just pick this up. Yeah, let's cut this open. Oh, that's not loose. Now it is. Pull this to the sides. I got these open. Be careful not to break anything. Like that doesn't end well. One. So that's still be a me cell. That's completely separate. And this. 
want to see what the uh, next day's ships will be like. What you need to do to uh, cut those open. I notice that every tier just gets harder. Like there's a few things that they, they add and just make it harder for you. It does make sense, otherwise this will, won't be a fun game to play for too long. If it's just keep and repeat. Yeah, so we have five minutes. Um, let's detach that. Yeah, that's something I noticed that you need to remove the uh, fuel tank to get the sight off. Straightly enough. Otherwise, there's no way you can remove it. So let's pull this in. And pull most of these in. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Yeah, that's there. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. So here's the power cell. Electrical damage. That was the power cell. So don't know why it blew up. Well that happens. So that kind of sucks. Those are worth quite a bit. Yeah, that was a lot of money that just lost. So that's still connected. I think the Nasdaq thing is still on the back of this. Is it? Yeah, that it is. I have three tethers left. So let's get this in. And actually cut this entire side apart. Yeah, accidents happen in this game. Pretty easily. It's easy to accidentally cut a wall and kill yourself. And stuff like that happens. So apparently there was still oxygen. Oh, that's what happened last time. So apparently, the airlock was still pressurized. So that's what happens. And the suitcase keeps malfunctioning at this point. Yeah, so I never depressurized the airlock. So the moment you cut through that, like half the ship explodes. So now I know not to do that again. Well, I did survive, but... So, let's just pull that in. For processing. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And you have one that left. Alright, Cutter. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Warning. No tethers remaining. Let's just carefully do this. And throw that in. So yeah, the airlock was still... Uh, Credits deposited. Still pressurized. That makes sense. Why don't I... Well... Your oxygen reserves are low. 
I have enough oxygen. Oh wait, can I actually do this from the inside? I can. That makes it a bit easier. So, one second. And we're on the next level. So we get a bunch of upgrades. So what can we get? So there's the reach for the stinger and the cooldown upgrade. The range for the grappler and a charged push uh, upgrade. So that's 50%. Well, 50% more force apparently. Thrusters, max speed, and. Let's see. Oh, that eliminates a rental fee. And then the scanner for systems. I think we already had. So we can purchase the, the helmets and heat resistance, cold resistance, and the other resynth too. And we have one of these. So they just gave me a bunch of points. Well, that's still not enough to buy anything. So let's just finish the ship and then go to the new one. There's not much to do anymore. So it mostly is the airlock and the cabin, I think. Yeah, so this can just be pulled into the processor. So, is the airlock separate? Already separate. Can I... Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Process separated. Oh, apparently the power cell is still somewhere. Thought that blew up. There's a utility key. There goes the utility key. Oh wait, I cut through that. So do we also need to destroy this? I'm just wondering how to remove the... Uh... Oh, that's completely broken. How to remove the airlock. More electronics. Oh, you can actually destroy that. Wait for the cooldown. So that's still connected somehow. So 
let's destroy that. Yes, I'm not capable of destroying that one. Yeah, this is still connected. Somehow. Yeah, so that comes... Just comes off. Oh, that was actually not keeping it in place. I think. Or not. So that's for the furnace. Putting too much effort into this. Now I do want panels to come off. But I feel like it's easy to just drop the entire thing into the uh, to the furnace at this point. Just do that. No sex like this. Oops. Pull that in from that to that side. More for more force. The other one should break eventually. So I did put that loose at some point. So we still have 10 minutes left. So yeah, I can laser that. Uh, wait a minute, I just need to do these, I think. That one. That one. That in. Now those pins need to be removed before the door comes off. And there you go, goes the door. So it does look like you just need to do the uh only need to do the sides. Deposit not accepted. Wait, what did object process? Credit deposited. I didn't accept something. That's just all of this stuff, and then dump the uh, cockpit itself. The only problem is this is gonna drift like crazy. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder: asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Can I do this before I don't have an option here? Probably. I was exploded by that. Let's just throw that in. All speeds, tethering. Tether supplies running low. And that's it. Warning, tethers depleted. Deposit not accepted. Yeah, I didn't accept the glass. 
What a stupid amount of nano carbon was accepted. And we're done. Well, it was close to a million. Oh, almost at 500 points again. So, equipment... Let's get... actually... Let's get faster speed first. And repair the cutter. Hopefully we can get a few repair kits. How many do we still have? One. That's not that great. So, certification. So we need to, to do 25 work orders, 10,000 aluminum, 20,000 nanocarbon, and 20,000, uh, no, 22,500 credits. That's a lot. <laughs> 